Good evening. It's the final word. Saddam Hussein had no weapons of mass destruction when President Bush launched the Iraq war to disarm him. What's more, Iraq's weapons programs had fallen apart years earlier because of sanctions imposed by the United Nations after the first Gulf War. These are the main conclusions of a comprehensive final report issued today by the CIA's chief weapons hunter. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin begins our coverage. In the final accounting before next month's election, the man who led the search for Iraq's weapons of mass destruction made it official. When the war started, Saddam Hussein had no chemical or biological weapons and no secret programs to build them. It is clear that Saddam chose not to have weapons at a point in time uh, before the war. The 1,000-page report Charles Dulford delivered to the Senate Armed Services Committee was based on physical searches, captured documents, and interviews with Saddam himself, along with other captured Iraqis. It renders pre-war statements by the president and his senior advisors that Saddam had large stockpiles of chemical and biological weapons flat wrong. As for the claim Iraq was reconstituting its nuclear weapons program, which had been largely destroyed as a result of the first Gulf War in 1991. During the course of the following 12 years, Iraq's ability to produce a weapon decayed steadily. Democrats saw their opening and took it. You basically nailed the door shut on any justification for the war. But Dulford did find evidence Saddam was trying hard to undermine economic sanctions with an eye toward one day resuming production of chemical, biological, and nuclear weapons. Most senior members of the regime and scientists assumed that the programs would begin in earnest when sanctions ended, and sanctions were eroding. The report lists companies and individuals in France and Russia, to name just two countries, who colluded with Iraq to violate the sanctions. The sanctions were in free fall. They were eroding. There was a lot of corruption. Dolfer steered clear of any judgments about whether the war was justified, although he did say the world is better off without Saddam. But removing Saddam did not entirely remove the threat. Dolfer's team uncovered an attempt by the insurgents to put chemical agents into some of their weapons. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.